Hello all, welcome to Let's Learn Optometry. In this video, we will see about trial set. So, what is a trial set? It is basically a box containing frame, lenses, prisms and accessories that are used for refractive, accommodative and binocular assessments. What does it contain? It has a trial frame, trial lenses, prisms, occluder, pinhole, synopic slit, red green filters, medox rod, Jackson cross cylinder, navigation chart, plano lens and a PD roller. Uh, please note that this information is about a standard trial lens which is commonly available in India. Some companies or designs will have a different items and power ranges. So please consider that. So now we will start discussing about individual items in detail. Trial frame. This is a spectacle frame that has different cells or slots which allows for the insertion of different lenses and accessories that serve different purposes. It is a metal adjustable frame. So this is a trial frame. These are the lens cells. This is a nose resting. This screw is used to adjust the nose piece assembly front to back and up to down position. This same screw is used to adjust the interpupillary distance also. Here you can see two white lines. The purpose of these white lines is to tell you that whether the trial frame is adjusted correctly for the patient or not. Only then the patient can view the chart through the center of the correcting lens. The horizontal line shown here must cut the pupil horizontally in the center. If not, this can be adjusted using this knob. Simply loosen the screw and adjust the nose rest up or down so that the height is adjusted and it cross the pupil horizontally in the center. Similarly, the vertical line shown is also should be adjusted in such a way that it cuts the pupil vertically in the center. To achieve this alignment, we need to adjust the interpupillary distance Loosen the same screw and increase the increase or decrease the interpupillary distance. So this is an eye with a properly adjusted trial frame. See how the markings cut the pupil vertically and horizontally. It is an improperly adjusted uh, trial frame. See the markings are not correlating with the pupil center. So the trial frame can also be adjusted in the temple to give the desired pantoscopic tilt. The pantoscopic tilt means we are adjusting the temple in such a way that the lower part of the frame front is towards the eye. So it is a basically a tilt that we give so that while looking through the near portion, the patient will have better reading and wider near field. The trial frame also has axis markings to place the cylindrical lenses correctly in the desired axis. The trial frame has three to four compartments or cells. The first cell which is closer to the eye is exclusively dedicated for high powered lenses. We know that the perceived power of the lens can be changed with respect to the vertex distance. The vertex distance is nothing but the distance between the spectacle plane to the eye. So the minus lens becomes less minus and plus lens becomes more plus when taken away from the eyes and vice versa. To avoid this effect, High powered lenses are placed in this cell. The second cell is for the spherical lenses. The third cell is for the cylindrical lenses because the axis marking shown in the trial frame should be correlating with the trial cylinder lens axis. Here the axis is placed at 180 degrees. In this picture, the axis is placed at 40, 40 degree axis. The cylindrical lens compartment should be capable of smooth and accurate rotation. The fourth cell is to place the accessories like occluder, pinhole, prisms and other things. We have different types of trial frame in different trial set uh, designs. So full aperture frame, uh, reduced aperture frame, half eye trial frame. So each type has its own benefits and available based on different companies. So types of lenses means trial lenses, full aperture lens, reduced aperture lens. 
So here we commonly used a reduced aperture frame with the reduced aperture lens in our trial set. Spherical lenses, we know that in a spherical lens all meridians will have same power. So the most common color code for minus lens is red and plus lens is black. However, uh, we have different trial uh, sets which different color codes. The power of lens is mentioned here in diopters. The power of lens is also mentioned on the rim of the trial lens. There are 32 pairs of spherical lenses in plus and minus power. The power range starts from 0.12 till 20 diopters in both plus and minus forms. So let's see the power range. We have one pair in 0.12 step, then from 0 0.25 to 4 diopters we have in 0.25 steps. For example, if we have 0 0.25, then we have 0 0.5, then 0 0.75, 1, 1 1.25, 1.5 and so on till 4. Then from 4 to 6 we have 0 0.25, 1, 1.5, 1.5 and so on till 4. Then from 6 to 14 we have in 1 diopter steps like 6, 7, 8, 9 and so on. From 14 to 20 we have in 2 diopter steps like 14, 16, 18 and 20. Uses of spherical trial lenses. It is used for subjective refraction. Used in retinoscopy. It is used for hand neutralization of spectacles used in binocular vision assessments. Cylindrical lenses, here the power lies in one meridian. The axis meridian is marked on the rim of the lens as a line. There are 20 pairs of cylindrical lenses in plus and minus power. The power range starts from 0.12 till 6. In 0.12 cylinder we have one pair. From 0.25 to 3.5 we have in 0.25 steps. From 3.5 to 6 we have in 0.5 steps. The uses of cylindrical lenses are same like a spherical trial lenses. Prism. Prism is a refractive medium having two plane surfaces inclined at an angle. So prism bend light towards the base and shift image towards its apex. So this is the base of the prism and this is the apex. In eye care practice we always denote prisms with a base directions like base up, base down, base in and base out. The power of prism is measured in prism diopters. Uh, usually it is noted as a triangle symbol or PD. The prism will be thicker in the base direction and thinner at the apex. So see here the lens is thicker in the nasal side. So the base direction is base in. Power is noted as 12 prism diopters. The plus symbol indicates the base side and minus indicates the apex side. In some models of trial frame, trial set, an arrow will be shown to indicate the direction of base instead of plus or minus signs. So power range, prisms are not available in pairs. There are 10 prisms in total. So we have 1 in uh, 0.5 prism diopter. From 1 to 6 we have in 1 prism diopter step like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. From 6 to 12 prism diopters we have in 2 prism diopter steps like 6, 8, 10 and 12. So prism is used to measure the ocular deviations. It helps in measuring the fusional versions. And it is used in some binocular balancing uh, test. Let's see some accessories. Occluder. So it is a black uh, plastic opaque disc. It is basically used to close one eye for monocular tests or monocular uh, measurements. It is used to dissociate fusion. Pinhole. It is an opaque disc with a pinhole of 1 to 2 mm diameter in the center. It allows only the central light rays to pass through the eye and blocks the peripheral light rays thus creating a smaller blur circle on the retina and improving the visual acuity. 
So please comment down the principle of pinhole disc. It helps to find out whether the eye has a refractive or pathological errors. If the visual acuity improves with the pinhole, the patient has a refractive error. If the visual acuity is not improving with pinhole, the patient may have some pathologies. It also gives clue about the potential visual acuity. Plano lens, it is a lens with zero power. It is basically used to satisfy and identify the malingering patient so that the patient will have a feeling feel of getting correct with lenses. Stenopic slit, it is a slit of 1 mm width and 15 mm length. The stenopic slit basically removes the peripheral rays in the meridian perpendicular to the slit, isolating the meridian at which refraction is to be performed. The uses, it is used to find out the axis of cylinder in astigmatic cases. Stenopic slit is also used in case of corneal opacities to find the optimal site for optical iridectomy. After midriatic induced pupillary dilation, the synopic slit is rotated in front of the eye. The axis which gives maximum clarity is chosen for optical iridectomy. The vertex distance can also be measured with the help of synopic slit. It is used in M sleeve income test. With continuous rotation of the slit, if there is any continuous halo, the case is corneal edema. If there is a breakup of halo seen, it is immature cataract. Maddox rod, it is made up of series of plano cylindrical lenses. So a spot of light which is seen through the Maddox rod will appear as a line. So Maddox rod is commonly used in many strabismic and binocular vision assessments. It is majorly used to measure the phoria. Uh, Red green filter, this is basically used for color dissociation test, more commonly with work for dot test, friend test and some binocular vision assessments. Jackson cross cylinder, we have a detailed video in our channel on Jackson cross cylinder, please refer it. So basically it, it is used to refine the axis and power of cylinder in astigmatism. We have a PD ruler to measure the interpupillary distance and we have a navigation chart to test the navigational acuity and used in accommodation and binocular vision assessments. Difference between trial slit and the foropter. So inside the foropter we have all the lenses and accessories built inside the instrument. So everything is fully automatic. The person operating just need to make certain adjustment uh, but in trial frame uh, we need to do everything manually. Then the trial set is fully portable. We can take it to uh, all the places. So it is better suited for uh, home screening and uh, camps. Whereas the foropter is not portable. The trial frame is better for near vision test as the patient can read at their habitual posture and working distance. Whereas in foropter, they need to maintain a standard gaze. I hope you found this video helpful. Please comment down below what topics you want next. And subscribe to Let's Learn Optometry for more optometry and eye care videos. Thank you.